Lecture 12775 Revenge When a person feels the urge to carry out revenge, it means that this is their life mission. Regarding this, I can say that I have been a person who has thought about revenge more than anyone else. I am someone who has committed and experienced this the most. When I was a child and lived in an orphanage and some older boys brutally beat me, I ended up in the Busan hospital where I was in a coma for more than 20 days. Upon waking up from my coma, the first thing I did was clench my fists. The first thought that came to me was to slaughter everyone who had beaten me. Through this experience, my life completely changed. At that time, I was living only with the mindset of revenge. But it was through that experience that nature was able to guide me to live in a unique way. So I could grow up. In the end, I did not retaliate. In fact, that desire for revenge made it possible for me to walk a definite path of growth. I could not have grown in such a definitive way without that strong push within me. This is how nature guides us to grow uniquely in different ways. In the end, will you take retribution? Or end up realizing your misdeeds as your growth reaches maturity, and see that it was not about revenge nor forgiving them, but to wake into your shortcomings. These are the changes you experience. Nature works in all ways to guide you to live sincerely. When you let go of the desire for revenge, you succeed in your growth. At the time I dropped my desire for vengeance, I wanted to die. I had lived only with that desire within me, but in the end it all changed. When I stood in front of my attackers, I pitied them and lost the will to take revenge. I just couldn't do it. I suddenly lost all purpose to live. I wanted to die, so I decided to drown myself with liquor using all the money I had to buy it. But this plan failed as I drank. My idea was to use up all my money, get drunk, and end it all. But while drinking, a woman who had lovingly cared for me as a child approached. She began to scold me about everything. You are horrible, she said with great disdain. Suddenly I came to my senses. She continued ranting. I regret taking such good care of you. I see that you are just a wretch. I had never heard anyone talk to me like that before. This person who had so much affection for me and was now saying those things stopped me in my tracks. She said, if you have the guts to die, go on and live well with that courage. At that moment I came to my senses. It was then that I began my journey to find myself. Today, I stand before you as a Susung, but as a child I couldn't even read. Those who beat me as a child were my saviors that God sent me. Every single person I met in my life has been invaluable. Because I came to realize such gratitude toward the world, I was able to study myself. And I stand before the Jungbap family. Nature guides each of us to study differently. I have been through this unique experience, so if any of you harbor a desire for revenge, first come to me to discuss it, then you will be free to choose. You know I'm not so bad after all. I will dedicate my whole life to making the world a better place. Every person in the Jungbub family is precious to me, and I love you all. Even if someone turns their back on me and speaks ill of me, know that I will continue to love them. And if at any time they wish to return, I will welcome them with open arms. I live to benefit all of you, so if you wish to study together again, you may. I am a person who does not reject those who come and does not hold back those who leave. My life is to benefit every person in front of me. I will use all my energy for this purpose. You too can increase your life force if you are motivated by the quest for revenge. Then eventually you should let go of that desire. The moment you are able to love those who have hurt you, you will know that you have grown to the best of your ability. Enemies do not exist. For all of you, the enemy does not exist. Right now you may think someone is your enemy, but one day you reach gratitude and understand the meaning of that experience. 
This is the path to fulfill the earthly mission that grand nature endows you. Do not create enemies and do not hate anyone. Embrace every event with gratitude. This means receiving energy in return. Then you can also succeed in caring for the people responsible for those events. This is becoming a Hongik leader. Even if you have shortcomings, dedicate yourself fully to improve, then great hope will come. Let's try together.